In this problem, we're told that Manny owns 83 sets of base, uh, basketball cards, and each set has exactly 504 cards. What is the total number of cards, or basketball cards, that Manny owns? <coughs> Excuse me. So a set of cards, right, you have 83 sets of them, and you can picture it like a, maybe a container, and in that container, or that set of, of cards, are 504 individual cards, right? This is one set with 500 cards. So one set has 504 cards. If we have 83 of these, we need to make that connection that this is really saying, take 83 sets, right? And to count all the cards, multiply that, that by 504. Because essentially, you're gonna add 504 83 times in order to count all the sets that you have. So I'm going to multiply this out. I'm going to set it up so we have 504, and here's one way to do it, times 83. And as a review, what we do first, of course, is we start with this ones digit right here. Multiply by the 4 to get 12. Right? 3 times 0 tens is 0, but there's still this 1 10 right there. And 3 times 5 is 15. And that, of course, represents 1,500. Now we're multiplying tens out, right? because that's really 80. So we want to put a placeholder there, and 8 times 4 is 32. So you can think of this as 32, right? Cross this out. 8 times 0 is 0, plus 3 is 3. And 8 times 5 is 40. So now that we have all this lined up, we can just add. 2 plus 0 is 2. 1 plus 2 is 3. 5 plus 3 is 8. And 1 plus 0 is 1. And then this is 4 plus nothing, so it's 4 right there. That's 41,000. 832, the answer is C. But there, there are many ways to multiply here. Um, for example, you could, you could think of 83 as being broken up into 80 and 3, and you could break up 500 into 504. And then you just need to multiply all the parts to get the same answer. For example, you do 500 times 3, that's 1,500, right? 500 times 80, that seems difficult, but if you think of 5 times 8 as 40, right? And then really, well, this is not 8, but 80, so it's 10 times bigger. And this is not really 5, but 500, so this, is, this would be 100 times larger. So that's going to be 40,000, right? Because instead of 5 and 8, it's 80 times 500, so it's 1,000 times larger than, than 5 times 8. And then we want to get our other combinations here. So 4 times 3 is 12. And 4 times 80, well, 4 times 8 is 32. But it's not 8, it's 80. And 80 is 10 times larger than 8, so 4 times 80 will be 10 times larger than 4 times 8. So that means it's going to be 320, not 32. If we add all this up, right, we get 40,000, right, 41,000, excuse me, that's a 1,000. And then we have 500 and 300, that's 800. And then we have 20 and 12, and that's 32. You know, there are, that would get us the same answer. There are many intuitive ways to do this, as long as you're able to multiply this out and make the connection that this problem is really about multiplication, then you'll be okay. All right, thanks a lot.